Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show you a quick, fun, and easy way that you can test your Facebook ads without any added stress. I know the whole concept of testing can be really confusing on like what to do, how to analyze your results. So I'm gonna show you a very, very simple way of doing it. I've actually just recently started kind of using this method in the last couple of months, and I'm liking it so far because it gives me the data that I need to actually make data-driven decisions. So my name is Sydney. I am a Facebook ad expert, Advertex Marketing, agency where we offer a full done for you service for Facebook advertising, as well as coaching consulting for anyone who wants help in their own ad account. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I am in a demo Facebook ad account right now. And this is the situation that we're currently in. We have this conversions campaign that's currently running. It's targeting a broad audience uh, in the USA. You know, obviously it's a demo, so that's not real. But now I want to go and I want to test new creatives and new copy. So the way I'm going to do that is is go to the top right corner here, press the create button, and we are gonna optimize for sales. What I'm gonna name it here is testing right from the get-go. And then I'd also probably name the audience that I'm testing within this campaign. So for a testing campaign, I would definitely recommend that you use a broad audience um, just because that's gonna be able, that's gonna allow you to scale as much as possible because you just have an infinite audience basically to advertise to. So I will name this maybe broad USA. Um, now the ad set and the ad, we don't need to name just yet, but you can do that afterwards. And I always recommend whatever you're gonna name your ad set and your ads, make it as easy as possible to look in there and know exactly what that is without actually having to go to the uh, edit mode. So there isn't much that we're going to be changing over here. You do have the option to turn on campaign budget optimization. Uh, that's sort of a personal preference, but for this situation, we're not going to do that. Now, the real magic comes at the ad set level. So do you make sure that you have your pixel and everything set up properly. If you don't know how to do that, go check out one of our other YouTube videos that shows you how. But the main thing that we're going to be turning on here is a dynamic creative. And basically dynamic creative, you can give Facebook up to 10 different images or videos and up to 10 different headline and copy that they will test against every single person to show you what the best variation of that ad and copy and headline is. Even though we can't up to add up to 10, we're not gonna max it out and I'll show you in just a second how many you should be putting in there. But just going down the ad set uh, settings here, the only thing that I would obviously recommend is that you're setting a budget high enough for you to get some conversions. So I would recommend two to three times your target cost per result. So let's say for example, you're selling a product and your cost per result, your target cost per result is 15 or $20. I'd recommend that you spend 40 to, to $50 to make sure that you're providing Facebook what it needs to actually deliver your ads. And then you can get those results a lot faster. If you're not spending enough, then you're not gonna get those results fast enough. If you want more about you know Facebook ad budget, go check out one of my other videos. So I'm gonna be targeting the United States and I'm not gonna put any other uh, targeting in here, but we do want to make sure that the advantage detailed targeting is on. It's going to reach people maybe beyond your target audience if they do think that those people are going to convert and that's perfectly fine. So now that we're in the ad level, this is where we're going to be putting different images and different copy. And I'm going to show you a few different examples of what I would recommend. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is scroll down to the section that has media in it. And we're going to select either images or videos. Now you can add up to 10 of each of these. So you can add up to 10 images and videos, up to 10 primary text, up to 10 headlines. But I would actually recommend not maxing it out. Even though a car can go, you know, 200, 300 kilometers an hour, we don't max it out, right? That's, it's just, it, we don't do that. So in this situation, we're also not gonna max it out. I would recommend putting up to two to three different creatives and then two to three different primary texts and two to three different headlines. And that way you're sort of just cruising along and Facebook can optimize it without so many different variations. And that's what I found just so far has been producing the best results and I can really analyze them as best as possible. So in this situation, I did not create any videos, but I would highly recommend that you use videos and that you're you know, working with content creators and finding new and exciting ways to target your audience. But for this case, I've only made up different images. So you can see I uploaded three different ones right here. So I'm gonna upload that one. I'm gonna select, you know, these ones and also upload these. 
Each of these have slightly different variations to it. You could make two images or two videos that are completely different and just test two completely separate videos that you make to see which one resonates the best. But also what you could do is just test different hooks right in the beginning of the video. Ultimately, the hook is what's going to make or break your ad. If you're not you know, making people stop to watch your ad, then they're not gonna be watching the rest of it. There's two sort of situations where you could test out two completely separate videos or two different videos or images that have different hooks right at the beginning and see which one resonates the best. So now that I have these three different ads in here, this one that says sneaker sport and these are just random ads. I actually got it off of Canva. Sneaker sport, newer arrivals, and then they have some like uh, different styles down here. Sneaker sports and they're just placed a little bit differently and then like some benefits that go down here. We do want to make sure we have optimized creative for each person. We do, oh yeah, we do want that on. And then when it comes to the primary text oh actually so that we can see this uh example we do want a link for the destination so let's go down here just so we can see what it looks like now here are some recommendations for the copy i've done up just a few different examples here of things that i recommend that you sort of test out the first one is trying just a classic review. So go through, I don't know, Amazon product, your Amazon store or your Shopify store, or whatever it is that you have a positive re review or even your Facebook comments, find a positive review that someone has said about your product that is online, quote them in little quotes over here and then just have their first name and then the first letter of their last name. We don't need to have their entire name there. Um, a second thing that I'd recommend that you test out is some benefit call outs. So you can add like little emojis and just have like benefit one, benefit two, benefit three. And then the third one I'd recommend that you test out initially at least is a long form caption. So, you know, just explaining basically the benefits, but in a longer form. So, you know, long form captions that take longer to read and they might even exceed the recommended character limit, but sometimes these perform well. So I would recommend trying them out and you can break up the long paragraphs for easier reading by just adding spaces between them. These primary texts should be relatively different. Um, you don't want to trust the exact same thing out. But some variations that you could have here is have like a review under the benefits, a review under the long form text here. And I'm saying review just because I find that these really can help boost your overall results. When people can see a real review or testimonial of that product that you're trying to promote, it can actually really help with your results. So I would definitely recommend testing that out. And headlines, I mean, these are sort of the same type of concept, but you could put here just like product name. You could also call out like, you know, X needs this. So if you're, you know, runners need this or what every needs. Okay. So obviously these are not set in stone. I'm not telling you to try to test these out exactly, but these are just examples of things that you can test out if you have absolutely no idea what you want to be trying out today. Do you make sure that you are putting in the website URL and that product that you want that want to bring them to? Um, and I'd always recommend creating a uh, UTM parameter. So for example, this, I'm usually putting Facebook underscore ad and make sure that whatever campaign source you're using is consistent all of the time. Um, when you're sending that data to Google Analytics, if you have a capital in here, it's gonna make it completely different. So that's just another great way of analyzing results if you're using something like Google Analytics. Campaign medium, that is going to be your ad set name. Campaign name would be your campaign name. And we actually don't have content name here because it is a dynamic creative, so that's fine. And I would just apply that right there. Now, once this all looks good to go, you could add different call to actions. I haven't really seen that there's been like a huge difference. You could try the difference between shop now and learn more, but that's really personal preference and what you wanna try. And that's pretty much it. That was really simple. Um, I just put in three different images here. Again, I would recommend that you use video. Video is going to probably outperform images 90% of the time just because everyone is watching videos every platform is favoring videos they also last longer so you know an image once you go buy it once that's pretty much it there's not really much else to look at but a video the first person might not watch it then they might watch it you know up to 10 seconds then they might watch it up to 30 seconds and the last try I guess or last time it shows up on their feed so yeah can last a lot longer. Now, I would recommend that you go and you name it. So this would be like sneaker images, just so I know exactly what it is when I go to analyze my results. 
and this will be broad dynamic creative. That's usually how I name it. And once that's all ready, you can go and press that publish button. Now I'm not going to because this is a demo ad account, of course, um, but you would press that publish button. Now, what I would recommend is that you at least let this test run for three to five days. We know that Facebook has delayed reporting and some results might not even show up for at least five days. So always let it run for at least three to five days. Now, what I love about Dynamic Creative is that you can use the breakdown feature, which is a feature you don't typically get with any other ads that you're running regularly. If you, let's say, have, you know, secret images and the three different ads here with the, the copy in it. So typically what I liked doing was having you no know, two to three different primary texts and headlines, but I wasn't using dynamic creative. And I mean, you're at least you're still giving Facebook more variations of things that they can show their audience, but ultimately I wasn't able to really learn from it. So let me just show you how you can go and analyze your results once they've been running for at least three to five days. So right now I'm in an account that I'm using dynamic creative for their testing campaign. Now we know that Facebook does not get the full picture of all the data that comes in with iOS 14 and lack of data. A lot of the times results that we're seeing inside of ads managers almost, you know, it's missing 40 to 60% of the data, which is crazy. So when you are running testing campaigns, what I was finding an issue with was if I just had single ads running, you know, solo, if they didn't have any conversions to it, I wasn't really sure which one was like performing best. But with the breakdown feature, if I go, you know, campaigns, it's gonna bring me to the ad set. Now you'll see that we only have one ad in here, but if I go to the top right corner and I use breakdown right there by dynamic creative element, then I can go to the different elements that I have here. So for example, image, video, and slideshow. In this campaign, I have two running. Now you'll see that one of them does show that it has the majority of the results. And actually for the situation, I know exactly why is because that one I did think was gonna perform better. If you're not really sure if you don't really have any conversions yet or not really that many to to make a confident decision. Another thing that I'm looking at is the overall reach and how many people this ad was able to reach because most likely the more people that it reached, the better Facebook thought it was going to be. Now, I wouldn't recommend making decisions until you actually see a result there. And then another thing that I'm looking at is the video hook. So out of a thousand people, how many people stayed for the first three seconds? And we can see those numbers right here. So in this case, I see that, you know, one of these videos is definitely performing better better because it has way more reach and the video hook is a lot higher. Now, what I would do from there is I'd take a look at that video and see why did this perform well? Did I maybe put a lot of more time and effort into it? Does it have a better, you know, just overall structure with the five elements that you need for a video that converts, which you go check out another one of my videos for me where I talk about that. What was it in that video that really worked well? And what I would do from there is create a second variation or a third variation of that video and then use this exact same process and test it out again. And then I'll show you how to do that after, but not just yet. Now, another thing that we were testing here was the copy. So we can break it down by the text and you'll have all the different variations of the text here. And if you hover over that type of text, it'll show you exactly what you wrote, but here's obviously just an overview. Now from here, what we can see is that one definitely got a lot more reach. It also had a higher video hook rate and just overall, I mean, it did have five conversions associated to that ad specifically. And of course that is track, which I can assume that there would actually be a lot more than that. There's probably about 10 to 12 conversions associated with that. It's just Facebook can only track five of them. So from there, I see that this copy is performing best. Now, again, I would say, why is that performing best? Did it have a review in it? Which most likely it did. Did it have some benefit point outs? Did it have a really good hook at the beginning of it? And then I would take that best performing one. If there was a second one that was like almost up to par, I would then test those two with a new one inside of a new ad set. That's basically how I would go and analyze the results. Um, I would use the breakdown feature. There's other things that you can test here. Uh, that you can break down here, which is like the headline description, call to action. You can use all of these to just take a look at like what is performing well um, based on the dynamic creative test that I just used. Now, once you find a good performing video or good performing copy and headline, what I would then do is use that video and go over to my core campaign and add that as a new asset into the regular ad set that I already have running. I would just copy this and copy the video and put it into the 
core campaign that I'm already running uh, with my broad audience. From there, if you find a better variation or you find a better video, you can either test the current best performing one that you have already running in your core campaign with already the best performing one that you have in your testing campaign. If you think that's like a new and upcoming Good performer. You could also make that test with a new dynamic creative testing ad set here. Now I'm back over here in my demo account. Let's say you have found a really good performing video copy, you put it into your core campaign, and now you're ready for your next test. What I recommend is you just go back over to your testing campaign. And then from there, you're just gonna duplicate that current campaign that you already have since you've already set up you know the settings and everything we don't want to have to create an entirely new campaign so you're just going to duplicate it and you're going to rename it of course now and you could just use you know copy two or you know one two whatever that you want and if you were going to use any of the copy that you currently have you don't need to copy it over from somewhere else so all you need to do here is go in there and change the images of the videos that you're currently using you might want to keep one of those and test it against two new ones or one new one and if you want to keep any of these current texts and it's really easy to do that and then you can just switch up something that you thought was working with something new so i find this is just a really easy way to test out your creatives your copy your headlines that actually gives you insight into what is performing well and what is not and it's always testing against each other which is really really nice that it can sort of run in the background without you needing to check it every single day. And I'd recommend that, again, it does run for at least three to five days before you're making any changes. And that's pretty much it. That's the new, fun, and easy way that I am testing creatives for my Facebook ads with Dynamic Creative. If you guys learned anything new in this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, is this a new method that you guys are using? Have you already been using it? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, we do offer Facebook ads, a full done-for-you service for clients who are already spending at least $3,000 per month on their Facebook ads and are really just looking to scale to the next level. As well as we also offer coaching and consulting for you know businesses who are running ads themselves and they just want insights from an expert that are currently running Facebook ads for all of their clients and we can pass all that information along to you with either weekly or bi-weekly options. So if you are interested in that, there is going to be a link in the description below. I'm always happy to talk to you and that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Again, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.